LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. <sighs> Let me tell you dude something. I'm going to tell you dude something right now. Listen, man. You know, just when Canelo was kind of starting to get himself out of this hole with us, the fans, you know, the people who rolling with him. You know, I look at an interview that this dude does on Hoop Jab, <laughs> and he pretty much says, yeah, you know, if Conor McGregor want to see how boxing is, you know, yeah, I'll fight him. Really? Really? So, Conor McGregor can get a fight with you. You know what? Maybe I just need to retract my, my previous video. Maybe I need to, because every single time I stand up, and I back Canelo on something. Any little thing I back him on, I, it, it end up always slapping me right in my face. Every time. Every time I back this dude on anything, I end up getting slapped in the face. And that's just the way that is. So let me get this straight. Okay. You're getting the ring with Conor McGregor. You, I'm going to stay calm. You're getting the ring with Conor McGregor. Okay. Oh, you, oh yeah. You'll fight him. Because I, I guess maybe you guys think it's a lot of money. You're getting with Conor McGregor, but you won't get in there with Gennady Golovkin. How you going to explain this? You're going to let Oscar De La Hoya pimp you, okay? And that's what he's doing. He's pimping you. He point blank pimping you, okay? You'll let him pimp you, but, you know, the guy won't even help you with your legal matters. How you going to explain this? How you going to explain this? I mean, Canelo, right now, dude, you full of PG-13 channel, but you full of it, man. You full of it. Are you kidding me, man? This is ridiculous. Dude, you'll fight Conor McGregor. You'll fight him, but you won't fight Gennady Golovkin. You know what? Let me start pumping out my MMA videos. That's what I'm finna start doing, man. I'm gonna start pumping out a lot of MMA videos unless something meaningful in boxing just happens. Because, man, this, this this crazy. I mean, you got... Boy, I, I, I can do the rundown in my sleep. I can do the rundown fast. Look, let, let's get the rundown real fast, okay? Here, let me give y'all the really fast 20-second variety of the rundown. Okay, you got Danny Garcia and Adrian Brown that don't want to fight Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao don't want to fight Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford trying to fight somebody, but he can't get nobody to fight him. You got Guillermo Rigondeaux. You, you know, everybody's scared of Guillermo Rigondeaux. You got Lomachenko that want to fight Rigondeaux. But, you know, every time Lomachenko take a big fight, you know, then he can't get a, he can't get in a big fight. For some reason, always money when it comes to Bob Arum. Okay? Then you got uh, you got Kale Brook. You got Kale Brook don't want to fight Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. trying to fight Kale Brook. Kale Brook ducked him to go fight, uh, to get knocked out by Triple G. And then, you know, Kale Brook going to move up to 154 after he get knocked out by Triple G because he's going to say he can't make the weight class in 147 no more because he want to uh, avoid Errol Spence Jr. How you going to explain this? I hope everybody can understand that. And I hope I ain't messed nobody's head up. I hope I didn't because, y'all, this is what boxing has come to, y'all. This is boxing. This is boxing. Like, See, we're, we're too busy, guys. It's a soap opera. It is a damn soap opera now instead of, you know, us talking about, you know, who can win the fight. Guys, most of the videos here, we, we can't even talk about who's going to win the fight because ain't no fights really going to happen. Not really. You know what? I can just hang my hat on Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev. I'm, I'm just waiting on that fight because we know Canelo ain't going to fight Triple G. We know Triple G ain't going to fight Andre Ward or Kovalev. We know that Kell Brook is not going to fight Errol Spence Jr., okay? We know that Manny Pacquiao will not fight Terrence, uh, not He won't fight Terrence Crawford. We know these ain't going to happen, okay? We know everybody going to duck Guillermo Rigondeaux. We know for some reason that, you know, Lomachenko not going to get the fights he wants because Bob Arum going to mess that up. See, we already know the things that's going to happen in the sport of boxing. We got this thing under wrap. That's how it is. That's just the way that is, okay? We're not going to get what we want in boxing because... We, we're just not getting what we want in boxing because the people don't want to fight. The promoters got too much interest. And you got a lot of stupid idiot fanboys who, you know, they down their favorite fight. They down the fighters for losing, man. In MMA, these guys got like 11 losses, man, and still on top of the game. Why? Because losing is a part of the sport, and they understand that. If you go undefeated in MMA, it's very rare. It's, very, it's a rarity because there are so many disciplines mixed in one. But I'll tell you what, though, man. Boxing is going to be no longer a spectator sport. It's just going to be WWE. That's what it's going to turn into be. Boxing is going to turn into WWE. That's what it is, okay? And unfortunately, I don't particularly like the WWE too much, okay? That's why I don't watch that. And I watch boxing because I like boxing. You know, we're having conversations about financial stuff. We shouldn't even be having that, these conversations. We're having conversations about who's afraid. We shouldn't be having these conversations. You know, we should be breaking down fights. 
about fights that are upcoming. But guess what? We're not because we can't because these dudes don't want to fight each other. I mean, they just don't want to fight each other. And I keep telling y'all the remedy for this is you hit these idiots in their pocket. But don't nobody want to do that. See, people will still continue to buy these fights. Still. Even if one person bought a fight, you know, that shouldn't be happening. That's one person that's just too stupid to think about their own self. Then you got Eddie Hernia. He over here talking junk. You got Tom Lyon Loeffler. He running his mouth. Can't shut up. You got Triple G talking about, you know, where well, he ain't going to fight Kell Brook because Kell Brook too light. But then he too, then he getting a ring with Kell Brook anyway. You got Adrian Brown and Danny Garcia won't take four million dollars uh, to fight Manny Pacquiao. Keep Thurman to take that money, but keep uh, keep Thurman to take it. But Pacquiao don't want to fight Keep Thurman or he don't want to fight Terrence Crawford. I mean, man, man, I'm telling y'all. See, y'all know how much I just said. You know, that took up most of this video. It took up most of the video because ain't nothing. It's, it's nothing going on. Nothing. I enjoyed, you know, having a video with the boxing librarian, man. We were really talking really some deep stuff in the sport of boxing, man. It was good. And but these conversations go far and beyond, man, because, you know, what? I wish, man, that we can just these promoters. I know they're listening to these videos, but they thinking, man, these guys in the YouTube uh, boxing community and they thinking, you know, uh, they don't even know who LDBC is anymore. They don't know who that is. But, you know, they probably thinking these guys in YouTube, they just dumb. They're going to support us anyway. We getting free advertisement. They're going to talk about us. And if they do, we getting paid. That's how it is, man. And I tell you what, boy, the sport. We can say whatever we want to say. Y'all can say the sport not dying. Please. Okay, please. I think Errol Spence is the future. You know, I, I, you know, but then won't nobody fight him. I mean, man, this is what I mean, y'all. Yeah, six million people watched him, but you know what? It would have been 10 million people had it would have been Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman. Errol Spence versus Kell Brook. No, 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 no. See, we got to have these crappy matchups. And then you got these dumb fans with an IQ of negative 55. You know, you got these idiots running around here. Yeah, man, it's crazy. I'm just going to start pumping out MMA videos and I'm going to say forget it. OK, I'm going to say forget it. Just forget, you know, making boxing videos because it, it ain't going to do much for anything, man. It's just not making a boxing video these days. It, it You know, yeah, you do it. And I, I like and I like making videos for the. I love it, man. I love making videos for people who watch my channel. I love it because. You guys are the reason why I make videos. That's it. That's why I'm sitting in my car after a heavy training day, but I'm making videos because I like talking to y'all. That's just it, okay? You guys tell me what you think about the boxing fiasco. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. What do you do is waiting on subscribe. I'm done.